Amnesty International has called on the parties to the national conflict in Sri Lanka to stop all attacks on civilians. One LTTE cadre was killed when the army retaliated in Yatpale area in Jaffna today. In business news, presidential advisor Vasudevanana Akkara says that 30% of public funds and resources are being misused in a corrupt manner. Elections Commissioner of the Batiklo District T. Krishnananda Lingam said that so far only three political parties have obtained their preferential numbers despite these numbers being the releasing issued. of results of the GCE ordinary level examination two students at Vishaka Vidyale in Colombo secured first and second security forces launched attacks targeting LTTE bunkers at the LTTE forward defense line on the Uyland Kulam Andan Kulam in more local stories the OIC of the traffic division in the Balikada police has been transferred to another station the United National Party says that a no-confidence motion will be presented in Parliament against Minister Mervyn Silva. Meanwhile, private security at the Sri Lanka Rupavahini Corporation has been removed. The United National Party questioned in Parliament today whether the government which criticizes the unilateral ceasefire declared by the LTTE plans on engaging in a secret ceasefire.